We got ourselves team one together with Seavark playing a Goblino today. I'll stick it to the Arcane Dream Kiosk on the team of the Survival Hunters. Well, Polly Molly is a Frosty Mage. We got Arky. It looks like it's not going to be first up. It looks like it's going to be Kronx, the Outlaw Rogue. Very, very excited to see. How will an outlaw rogue can do? Well, the wolf is going to be first up as a Draenei over on the team too. We actually have a team alliance over that team. Wolfie, get a blast. I think it's going to be, was that a Venthyr burst? Krongs, uh, actually, no, he's playing the Necrolord. Big Chain Harvest for the Shaman to recover a little bit. That's going to be also counter Strike Totem. But I think Wolfie might just go down if they don't take care of the rogue. Needs to go for a bit of healing. Missing on Sunder, but still doing kind of okay. Blind on to Wolfie as our health is dipping lower. And Krongs is just going to generate freebie comp points off of that Totem Gouge onto a wolf looking for the reroll into a kidney shot it looks like spikes are continuing to fly through might actually be able to triple spike wolfie big pistol shot to follow actually taking him down with just spikes oh my goodness Krog who played that cheesy he got the trip actually quad five spikes that he could throw out back to back as a necrolord so that's as cheesy as it can get oh my goodness and that's gonna be grappled towards snazzy as he's gonna go for a gouge with a spike looking for dfa i guess trying to go for a bit of immunity do you see a cheap shot that's gonna be trinket with an invasion cheap shot again it says he wants to keep crossing next to that trinket gonna be the big trinket explosion looks like krongsum avoided it wait can you dodge the trinket damage wait did it just dodge the trinket damage i don't understand snazzy's gonna cut a lone health has to go for an evasion and it looks like it's gonna be krongsu putting some pressure on him with snazzy going for Almost a reset. Trying to still get a more eviscerates into Krongzu. Gonna be a short cheap shot as it is an org that he's hitting. Needs to go for a bit more CC chase. Krongzu looking for that kidney shot. Does Nancy have a trinket? Looks like this is gonna be Krongzu trying to max out, like kind of next to the kidney shot. But he's like trying to hit him from a distance. Trying to keep the acrobatic strikes a range on him. Reset by Snazzy. Does not have a trinket, but he does have Shadow Blades rolling. Shadow Dance is available. If he goes in for a full kidney shot after waiting out DRs, cheap shot that's going to be pretty short. And Krogsu still hoping for the Kyrian burst to happen. Krogsu with a gouge of the stats and a kidney shot right after. Does he have the damage to follow? He is going to need some kind of defensive. Krogsu could vanish out of here. He's going to cut alone hell blind after the kidney shot. He just gouged Snazzy, so he's not going to be able to resap him. That's one thing he will not be able to do. His saps are going to be DR'd. So does Krogsu open up? Cheap shot to Snazzy keeps the bleed rolling. Gonna be evasion as Krongsu does get the defensive back early. Snazzy does not have the damage just yet. DFA for Krongsu just trying to immune any kind of CC for a short moment. Gonna be the Orc Rachel pop it off. Snazzy trying to escape, unable to cloak a shadows. He's just trying to burn whatever defensive. Krongsu around the corner with a dive right back in with that little charge. Gonna be a quick shiv by Snazzy onto Krongsu as the both exchange slows krongs is still able to keep snazzy in combat whichever is going to land a kidney shot first could be the winner kidney shot on snazzy does krongs have enough damage so the strikes back to back try to get the damage in pistol shows to follow vanish sheep shot does he have enough oh he does have enough the outlaw rogue outplayed the sub rogue in the cc game being able to get those defenses earlier than the other guy is helpful i mean that evasion came in clutch gonna be chicago as a cultured Yo, actually looks kind of good. Gonna be that open to buy the rogue before Chicago doesn't even get able, even able to isn't he even able to dismount from their mount. Gonna be kidding shot to Chicago as the pre-wall. There's still lots of damage on the Krong, so Chicago is getting a little bit of healing. Gonna be that maelstrom from the ghost wolves charging out. So it should be able to be pretty, pretty healthy. Krong, so again with yet another evasion. The short cooldown on that evasion just keeps him super tanky. Sunder by Chicago into Sun to Krong, so Does Chicago have enough damage here? Quick gouge by Krong, so I don't think he has a kidney shot just yet. He's going for a bit of CC versus Chicago. Building up some pistol shot comp points. Send a strike and try to keep the pressure rolling. Re it's going to be re-rolled with the comp points. Not able to get an interrupt onto Chicago's Fleshcraft. And Krongzu has a backup. Has a vanish in case he needs to. Uses the vanish, but the pistol shot Chicago immediately blind to follow the Chicago trinket out of it. I think that's what he's trying to hope for. Maybe Chicago trinkets. Because then they'll be out in the open. Exposed for the rogue to just control them the whole game. Krongs are looking for that reset. Has the Earth Elemental to gener generate calm points off of Gaucho to Chicago. Getting a shot to follow. Is going to get himself a re-roll. Spikes are coming out. But I think the Rogue isn't really trying to... He's trying to say... It looked like he was kind of trying to walk by and like try to almost reset. Try to go around the pillar. Another evasion is back for this Rogue. 
count down how often he got to use evasion adrenaline rush is rolling for this guy trying to get the most damage over chicago wall available for chicago in case they need a cloak of shadows for the rogue for the stun chicago super low in health does have the mills to keep himself afloat though Haymaker onto Crocs does knock him back for a second. Trick inside of it. That's going to be Kidding Shot onto the Hex. Trick it on Chicago. Do they go for the Hex again? The Rogue has a vanish in case things go bad. The Rogue always has a way out of here. Hex available. Chicago needs to go for CC Gouge, but the Rogue doesn't have a Kidding Shot. Oh, Crocs. Oh. Pistol shots him down. Among Us is going to be up next. Why did I say it like that, dude? Among Us. <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> it's gonna be up next with a quick breath ring of frost such a crocs it did not vanish out of there. gonna be that trinket next to crocs a big combustion does evasion vanish out of there let's around the corner shift the powers up for among us trying to keep himself moving but crocs is gonna be able to get himself a reset got himself flesh cap too so he's pretty healthy extra healthy Rune of power getting thrown out. Krong's looking to get that charge into Among Us with a kidney shot. Gonna be that alter time. So the mage is gonna be able to recover a lot of that health back. He's actually very, very safe. Very, very healthy. Krong's with a DFA. I think, again, trying to make DFA an ability where he might be able to dodge CC. He might be able to dodge breaths or kidney shot from the other guy. Maybe just try to go for a bit more damage. Maybe that's his gap closer. But he's definitely playing into DFA for a reason here. Maybe he saw that there's so many rogues on the enemy team. He's like, you know what? If I can immune one cheap shot or one kidney shot, I will be golden. Let him spend calm points and energy into that ability. Then I'll be set. And that's going to be a ring of frost around the corner. Kronk to take a bit of damage. He does not get cooldown reduction on cloak of shadows like he does on evasion. So he is limited on whenever he uses cloak. So for Among Us, he might be able to just use the fact that he's getting combustion back quicker and quicker with every single crit. A fire blast, fireball, and shoot to power. That could be helpful for him. Kidding shot. Trinkets out of it as the rogue is rooted in place. Trying to pistol shot down among us. That's going to be yet another combustion. Couch by the rogue into a grapple hook around the corner. Going to be a blink for among us. Actually, not even a blink, but a soul shape. Krogza is going to be able to catch himself a reset. More shimmers are out for the mage. Getting more combustions in. Clock shot is out for the rogue. Is definitely going to need to go for some damage. That's going to be dread blades for the rogue. Could go for a ton of damage. With an ice block into a breath by among us and a fireball following that gouge by the rogue looking for the reset got him so battle master and maybe a flesh cap does he have a flesh cap i think he's trying to maybe just wait out until he gets a reset the ambush instead maybe can the shot into among us does he have it rune of power falling up among us tried to get some damage in no combustion for a while blade rush for the rogue to reconnect back with a mage is the mage playing triple shield lego i don't think he is get a shot onto the mage and the rogue might be able to get through him that's going to be cauterized down no ice block at all that's the rogue got him Oh, seed pod. Better check it out real quick. Suz wants to go win. <laughs> Wait, why do you get a guy named Among Us and you got a guy named Suz? <laughs> Come on, man. There's no way to plan. The cheap shout onto Croc says you try to go for a bit of flesh. Gun. Gonna be full carrying birds out of Suz. The gouge by the rogue. Does he have the comp points for a kidney shot? Looks like he does not. Trying to build a DFA. Might be able to immune some CC from Suz. Gonna be that trinket with the uh with the uh kidney shot. Skrogs is gonna take a lot of damage out of the cosmic trinket kidney shot with a blind. Oh no way wait okay hold on krongsa might have gotten himself a nice setup with the suz how does he survive this no more trinket it's gonna get the spike suz trying to shot us up around the corner krongsa is gonna be bailed out of there gonna be shot attack by the rogue to reconnect grapple hooks away gonna be another cheap shot does he have enough damage here krongsa is super low in health oh no he does go down i think what he was trying to do is try to keep a bleed on him with a death spike but that's all he could really do he was trying to keep the death spike bleed rolling he did so well though gotta give that man credit krongsa actually got he is Playing out the Necrolord and the Necrolord Legendary doesn't actually give you that much more damage in PvP or single target, I guess. You only get more spikes, which I guess is good. Lots of common points. Arky trying to see if he can drop down that rogue. He's just trying to see if he can slam him down. Just aim making that guy to the ground. Arky get a cheap shot of back-to-back cells. Doesn't really have a lot left in terms of defensiveness. It's going to be able to get himself shot him out. No vanish for a while. He might be in trouble. Blind available. Does he just die? Light the ball. <laughs> that wasn't even a fully maelstrom lightning bolt, but he still got it off. Wow, Krongzu. Popping off, man. He got three kills, but actually it's four because one of them was a seed pod. I mean, I had seed pods work, right? Basically, seed pod counts as the seed killed the mage, not him killing the mage. But you know what I mean? That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, boys, let's get another put running boy. That's a good dude to start the day off with, man. I got to get the uh, arena list again. List of arenas so we can get some variety.